I just bought eight pairs of boxing gloves on Amazon for under $30. Well, $30 each, not $30 total. All right, so I'm gonna be reviewing each glove and ranking them one through 10 on several different categories. So the first category is aesthetics, how they look. The second category is how they fit with my hand wrap inside. And the third category is impact absorption. But first, if you're new to the channel, I love sharing advice on boxing, nutrition, exercise, life of a boxer, behind the scenes footage on boxing events. So if any of those topics interest you, please make sure to subscribe so you stay up to date with the latest video. Okay, the gloves are organized from lowest price to highest. If you're interested in boxing and want to give it a try, I don't suggest buying expensive gloves over 100 off the bat. I've seen so many people try boxing and for a couple months and then they disappear. So save your money, buy some more affordable gloves. And if you decide you wanna really try boxing, then go ahead and invest in better gloves. Real quick, before I get my thoughts on these gloves, I don't need them. I have multiple pairs and backups, so I'll be giving these away to the gym. That'll put me a little bit closer to my ultimate goal, which is give a thousand pairs of boxing gloves away. Once we reach 5,000 subscribers, I'll be giving away a pair of gloves. Make sure to subscribe, you might be the winner. First up, Hawk Sports. These gloves are $21.99. Now, they did not sponsor this video, but they did send me these gloves for free, so thank you, Hawk Sports. These are pink, black, and silver. It took me a while to realize the lines make an H, but they're pretty cool and simple. I like the hawk font and the contrasting colors. Aesthetics rating, 8 out of 10. The fitting is snug, the knuckles and thumb are well padded, but maybe a little too much padding on the bottom side of the knuckles. Easy on and off hook and loop. The wrist can have a little more support. Fit rating, 7 out of 10. Since these gloves have most of the padding on the knuckles, it absorbs a lot of the impact on the knuckles, so they definitely feel protected. I think these gloves would work great for light sparring and heavy bag work. Impact absorption, 8 out of 10. Overall score, 7.6 out of 10. Next up we have Velo. These gloves are $23.99. I like the feel and smooth matte black leather. I think they would look better without the logo on the wrist strap. I do like the honeycomb looking texture on the inside. It seems like it speeds up the drying of the sweat. Aesthetic rating, 7 out of 10. The gloves have a good padding all around, but the thumb is a little too tight, making it a bit harder to make a fist. I do like the knuckle padding and the wrist has good structure support. Fit rating, 7.5 out of 10. Again, I do have to work a little harder to make a fist in these gloves, but they do absorb the punch as well. The knuckles are well padded. I think these gloves are best suited for mitt work and sparring. Impact absorption rating, 8 out of 10. Overall score, 7.5 out of 10. Up next, Sanibal. These gloves are $25.99. They are black, white, and red. The logo looks pretty cool and I like how it sticks out along the wrist strap. It's not printed on the wrist but stitched on. I think the logo by itself with a white outline on the center of the glove would look better. Aesthetic rating, 8.5 out of 10. These gloves are a little on the white side making it a bit difficult to put my hand inside because of my hand wraps. The thumb fitting feels good. These gloves seem durable but still have to work on making a fist but overall happy with the fit. Fit rating, 8 out of 10. Again, the padding is well allocated. The knuckles and thumb are protected. Since the gloves are a little wide, I feel my hands slightly shift on impact. I think these are great bag gloves and are best suited for slow, deliberate training. Impact absorption, 8 out of 10. Overall rating, 8.1 out of 10. Next up, Athlete. These gloves cost $25.99. They are green and black and are longer than other gloves. I like the simple look. The logo reminds me of a boomerang. They are 14 ounces, but feel a little bit lighter. Aesthetic rating, 8 out of 10. Now the fitting felt good. It was easy to make a fist and the wrist felt well protected because of the length of the glove. The stitching did push my thumb inward a bit, but it didn't mess with my ability to make a tight fist. Fit rating, 8 out of 10. Now I was surprised with the absorption by the way they felt. I expected a little bit more, but it was okay. My wrist felt well protected. But when I hit the body protector, I can feel the impact on my knuckles. I think these gloves are best suited for speed training and mitt work. Impact absorption, 6.5 out of 10. Overall rating, 7.1 out of 10. Next up, Ringhorn Charger. These gloves are $25.99. I really like the shiny black on black matte look. Most of the inside part of the glove is this breathable material allowing it to dry quickly. Aesthetic rating, 8 out of 10. 
These gloves were extremely easy to put on. I'm able to make a tight fist in them and they feel comfortable all around. My thumb and knuckles feel more protected than my wrist though. Fit rating, 9 out of 10. I really like these gloves. They absorb the punches very well. However, the only downfall is the wrist support. If you catch a punch wrong, your wrist may bend. These gloves can really be used for any sort of training. Just make sure your wrist is wrapped securely. Impact absorption, 8.5 out of 10. Overall rating, 8.5 out of 10. Next up, Everlast Pro. These cost $26.43. These gloves are red and gray. These are by far the most common beginner gloves. The synthetic leather is stretchable but seems like it can tear easily. The wrist strap does not loop all around the wrist. It does have the breathable material along the finger section of the glove known as Evercool. Aesthetic rating 6 out of 10. The thumb feels protected but the padding on the knuckles feels a bit treacherous as if it will wear down quickly. The wrist has minimal protection because you can't enforce a strap all around. It is definitely comfortable. Fit rating 7 out of 10. Surprisingly, they do absorb the punch as well. My wrist didn't bend as much as I thought it would and the knuckle padding did feel fine. I think these gloves are good for light contact training like double end bags or defensive work. Impact absorption 7 out of 10. Overall rating 6.6 .6 out of 10. Next up Ringside Pro Style. These cost $29.45. These gloves are red, white, and blue and have ringside stitch on the wrist with a protective layer. I think the logo looks okay. Pretty basic. Maybe if it was a little bigger, it would look better. Aesthetic rating, 7 out of 10. Now these gloves are actually bigger than the rest. They are 16 ounces. There is plenty of padding all around, but I feel the back side of the hand where the logo sits has a little more padding than the rest. It's heavier up top. It feels the wrist may be vulnerable to bending more. Fit rating, 7.5 out of 10. My hand does feel secure in these gloves and there's plenty of padding to protect the knuckles and thumb. They feel very durable but since it's heavily padded by the logo, I think this glove is best for sparring and defending punches. Impact absorption 8 out of 10. Overall rating 7.5 out of 10. Lastly we have ZZTY. These cost $29.99. These gloves definitely stand out with its metallic silver and blue colors. If you're looking for something flashy, these are the gloves for you. I'm not sure how to pronounce the company name, Zangtu. If they had a simple logo, I think these gloves would look great. Aesthetic rating, 8.5 out of 10. The glove is well padded and protects the thumb and knuckles. I can make a fist easily inside these gloves and the foam seems softer than the other gloves. They are snug but flexible. Fit rating, 9 out of 10. It's easy to make and keep a fist with these gloves. The gloves absorb the punches pretty well but since the foam on the knuckles is a bit softer, I can feel the impact on my punches more. These gloves are great for mitts and heavy bags, but since the padding is softer, I feel you can cause more damage to your sparring partners. Use wisely. Impact absorption rating, 9 out of 10. Overall rating, 8.8 .8 out of 10. All right, Sam, which gloves felt the worst? The black ringhorn, Zoo. The black ringhorn? What yeah. about the, the least, I guess? The, the green ones? The green ones, yeah. Which one of the green ones? I think, I believe so. The athlete? Yeah. So you felt these less? Yeah. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below if you've tried any of these gloves before and what do you think about them? Anything you have to say? Ring horns, get those. Ring horns. Thanks for watching. Right. Gone. These? All right, these? Gone. These are fine. These are fine. Man, that's fucking nice of you, fool. Yeah, it's all right. Nobody buys gloves like that, dude. Some some people you only come one day and don't even take it serious, dude. It's fine. These. And they only come with these are gloves. It's all good. These and. All right, well, thank you guys.